there is a spirit of uh, pride. There is a spirit of racism. There is a spirit of hatred. There is a spirit of lying. There is a spirit of doing evil things. There is a spirit of doing evil things. And there is the spirit of the Antichrist. Yes, the spirit of 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 the there came to uh, the, the, the country where I live the, the members of the number 666 came to the country I live and then they said there is a spirit that is burning us there is a spirit that is burning us in here we cannot stay here and then left the place in Jesus name in 2 Thessalonians, If you want, get up and rebuke the devil anytime you want. There is a spirit of warfare. There is a spirit of homicide. There is a spirit of homicide and murder. Genocide. And then there is a spirit of genocide. Hitler was a distant million. I would have a devil say it and say it. Hitler killed six million Jews because the devil entered into him. Therefore, we bind the devil in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus is buried. May Jesus be blessed. Therefore, Therefore, what we have to do, each one of us has to first overcome our temptation. In Jesus' name, let it be bound. And and the tempter tempts each one of us with fornication and smoking and drinking and all kinds of evil things and in Jesus name we bind each one of us that in Jesus name we bind them in Jesus name Satan and national valley we will overcome the devil let me go to another section and we need the power of the Holy Ghost to overcome the devil. And then there is a weapon called speaking in tongues, in new language in tongues. In Mark 16 it says, and they shall speak with new tongues. Why is it that we need a new tongue? There's two purposes, but one of the purposes is for well. Therefore, the, the one that God gives us the Holy Ghost so that we can overcome the devil and the world. When, when John 16 it talks about why we have the Holy Ghost there are three things in John 16 from verse 10 from verse 8 
enable it as na nyu wodenante aymetamna enable it gin irsu nilkilatu irsu mato selahatiat sele tsirkem sele firdim ale min yoksa selahatiat bene sele mahabnulu sele tsirkem wode ab sele metnu kezim bala sele matawinu sele firdim yezi alem gej sele tafaradebet sosti nagar So here we see three things. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. If I go not away, the comfort. If I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But I depart. I will send him unto you. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they they believe not on me. Of righteousness because I go to my Father and see see me no more. Of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. <laughs> So the first one is that he has come; he will reprove the world of sin. And the sin is because they believe not on me. If the Holy Spirit is in us, it makes us believe in Jesus. If the Holy Spirit comes down strongly, even the Holy starts believing that there is God. God manifests Himself through the baptism of the Holy Ghost, and unbelievers start believing that there is God. Communist America, which I don't live in, same communist church. And there are communists here, not only other places, but even in America, there are. Xavier and Leblo Mamani all those who say man came from monkeys and all those that don't believe in God if the holy spirit is a for them they will be believers say that katasere man fas kawarade ale wede saigaba if the devil is bound and when it goes saigaba the world will come to repentance amen grow that you nebo kamanyo the fornicators the drinkers all those evil doers samamani jabral they will start believing and repenting And there in the, in the country Sodo where I live there was a man in jail he was, I was in jail due because of the gospel and there, there was a man in jail with me I was in jail for the gospel and he was there because of evil and now he doesn't smoke anymore he doesn't drink anymore he is a good Christian there because I was there in jail with him And there was another man who always was was very nice to me, but he was a smoker. He would come and beg me for money for smoke, and I would give him some money. He would go buy smoke. Some amen on this side of the table. Some tatamko. And you have to do your job, but you know, but even that word is to say no. And that man also, he stopped smoking. He came to God. He got baptized. He's a good Christian now. The word that said that Christ came to save sinners is a true word. Christ came to save sinners, and He's still saving sinners today. If devils are cast out, all those marijuana smokers will be baptized. All those uh, suicidals will be baptized. God is going to reveal His power in the world. Let me say something about verbally what is written. In Acts chapter 8. Philip Philip went into Samaria. While he was preaching in Samaria. It says that all the demons in the city came out. They were screaming at him. When the power of God comes down with fire from heaven, all the demons in the city leave and get out. If we believe all these things.
shall come to pass. More, more than me, but Bishop Doug who knows about this. When the preaching is preached in the countryside, there was a big serpent wrapped up on a big tree that he worshipped. Over 20 years ago, I've read that there, over, there are over 800,000 witches in this country. Their work will be stopped in this country. Those 800,000 witches, they will be stopped. In Jesus' name, we break the devil. If you believe, it says those who believe. Over eight, over seven years ago, when I came to the United States for the first time, when did you say that I didn't remember? I was staying at Brother uh, Joseph's place. Hola, when did you say is this the first asmatenyo chalu in this Alkut? And I told Brother Joseph that there are some witches in this area we should rebuke. Yes, sir. We rebuke the devil. Me chale shau te tunbala ogun be yes afuru agani tsirai misaruwa. And I know I don't know the end result, but I know in every neighborhood there are witchcraft. There is witchcraft in every neighborhood. Do not, do not slumber. Wake up and rebuke the devil in your neighborhood. Do not sleep. Do not slumber. Wake up and rebuke the devil in your neighborhood. In Jesus' name. The Bible says it will come. It, it will convict the world and make them repent. And the Holy Spirit will testify that the prince, the prince, the prince, of, this, the prince of this world has been dethroned. He has no power anymore. In Jesus. And all the power of the devil has been taken out. In Matthew he said all power in heaven and all the in all in heaven. He said, "All power in heaven and earth is given to me." He doesn't mean Jesus took the power from another God. He said, "I have the power." Jesus said, "If you believe, Jesus will overcome." In that time, you will overcome too. Is coming yet? How long? Is coming. As long as you believe. Jesus, what did Jesus say? Those who believe the signs will follow them. First, first they will cast out the demons. Second, they will speak a new language. Jesus said, "May Jesus be blessed." So, stay young is that we take that? And three, he will say this. Many are in jail. In the world, I'm still in pain. Can't you go and sit in my tummy? Because when I go to my father, so Jesus is sitting in the throne in heaven. And he is the King of Kings. And the brother who is a pastor in the countryside. Uh, this uh, one little girl was uh, had a demon. When they, they, when they started casting the demon, the demon spoke through that little girl and said, "That that golden throne, Jesus is not going to sit on it. Yes, you're not going to sit on it. Jesus is sitting in the heavenly throne. Hallelujah, All power is His." All authority is here. All, all authority is here. But he wants to give each one of you the authority. He doesn't say 
It doesn't say the preachers. It says those who believe. If you believe, you'll give you the power. And again, in a Sunday, Walla Bukoi Shalal, give Walla Israel. Tarami Menu, Hila is a thing, Chilla. And then all of you. Hila is a thing, Chilla. He will give you power. He will. He can give you power. Ya chilla ko inna wa de sosta niyau kame de befit sela lisan men na ger lemen ikzave sulisan ek de sata tinish lijamal. I want to speak a little bit about why God gave you tongue. Mera semen tela yerome maza. Romans eight. Romans chapter eight. Kogudra ya sindis. Verse twenty six. Indu dagmo memfes dikama chine ni akizan. It says that. Uh, Likewise, the Spirit also helps our infirmities. In that, in the Nizali, Sirem, in the Migabana, now come now. For we know not how we should pray. Never did my father ask, but my father made that he managed it. But the Spirit itself makes the decision for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searches the heart knows that which is the mind of the spirit. Because the because he make a decision for the saints according to the will of God. And Jesus said to Peter this one time. He said, I, I, I interceded on your behalf so your faith may not be destroyed. What, what, when it says that the Holy Spirit intercedes, so the, the, the Holy Spirit is Jesus Himself, so Jesus intercedes in our behalf. He becomes inside of us and He intercedes on our behalf. Even I want to connect this to new language. First Corinthians chapter 14. Let me show you how it is to receive the Holy Ghost through the speaking in tongues. It says that he that speaks in tongues speaketh mysteries in God. It says verse 14. For he that speaketh in a known tongue speaketh not unto men but unto God. For no those of you who have received all this let the tongues go and let it, speak, let it speak through you because it's speaking the mysteries of God through you in congregation I speak with no one tongue that people understand but, but, but in private, I speak in tongues more than all of you. I think my God, I speak with tongues more than you all. Yet in church, I had rather speak five words with my understanding that, I, that by my voice I might teach others also than, than ten thousand words in unknown tongues. In another place, he said, You can speak in tongues, and you can sing in tongues. You can go here and search the Bible in your home, you can speak in tongues and sing in tongues. With, with, with unspeakable groaning and moaning, God speaks through us. When somebody is in trouble that we don't know about, the Holy Spirit insights intercedes for that person on our behalf and groans and moans inside of us. Let's read 